Welcome to the Dice Tower, a series of video reviews about board and card games. Here are your hosts, Tom Vassell and Sam Healy. When I made a list of top 10 games I was looking forward to from Essen Spiel, this was my number one game just because I thought the theme of this was so cool. King and Assassins. Uh, this is a game It's for two players in which one person is a wicked king and the peasants hate him. How it's do you know a, he's wicked? It, it says... Does it says that? I, th I think it says. It says the hate... Okay. Oh, no. It says the hated monarch. It doesn't mean he's wicked. It just means that people don't like him. But it says he's returned surrounded by his brutal yet faithful guards. Well, of course they're brutal. <laughs> their job. Stop sticking up for the king. He's a jerk. I've seen every movie. The king is almost always a jerk. Almost always. <laughs> okay, well, either way, everyone hates this king. <laughs> so he's walking back to his palace, and he apparently has, I don't know, some sort of foot prompt, because he walks really slow. Yes, he does. <laughs> and he has guards surrounding him, and the other player has a bunch of peasants, and some of them are assassins. Apparently, they've escaped from a video game, though. Three of them. <laughs> so anyhow, let's look at how the game plays. Okay, folks, here is the setup of one side of the board, and it's a little hard to see from this, but there's going to be different people that are placed around the board, different characters. Uh, you can see there, there's some townspeople. There are two guards, guards of a blue background there in the palace. And then over here in the corner, we have the king. And again, it's hard to see when they're standing up like that, but there's the king. And he has guards surrounding him. So the king and the guards are going to be trying to, the king is trying to get to the palace. All right, that's all the king has to do to win is get over here and walk through either that gate or that gate, getting into the palace. At the beginning of the game, the player who's playing the assassin is going to look at everyone who's set up and they're going to pick three of these people to be assassins. Like, oh yeah, no one would ever suspect him. And, oh, that old guy, no one would suspect him. And... Well, Helga, we'll use her and... All right, so these are the three people who are your assassins. Then, a round of the game begins. You're going to shuffle a deck of these cards and turn over the top card. You'll place it between the two players so that the king sees how many actions the king has and how many his guards have, and the assassin sees how many the villagers have, or assassins if you have them. And these numbers are going to change. See, two, seven, five, one, six, five. There will be an arrest symbol on several of the cards that allows the knights to arrest one of the villagers. Now, the king, with his action, he can just move one spot for each action point that he has. And you can move the guards first. So let's say the guards have five. I could do this. I could go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, five. And then the king can move one like this. Now, everyone else is moving around and doing different things. They can move for an action point. There's roofs here. So when you move onto a roof, it costs two action points. When you move off a roof, it only costs one. Uh, so there's that going on. You can push people. Guards can push so that the, they, they can just basically push villagers away, although you can't push them into a wall. If there's an arrest symbol, the guards can capture one of the villagers. They can arrest them, although the person who's playing the assassins does not have to tell you if you've arrested an assassin or not. And when the bad guy has an assassin, he can say, oh, did you know this gentleman here was really an assassin all along? Move him, attack the king. First time the king is attacked, he will be wounded. The second time, the king dies and the assassin player wins. Now, guards can, for an action point, kill an assassin, unless he's on a roof. Then it's harder because you have to get up on that roof to uh, kill that assassin. Now, if you forget the actions, there's some nice cards here that basically show you movement for the villagers, movement for the assassins. Assassins move a little bit faster than villagers. The disadvantage is, once you reveal that you're an assassin, you play with the assassin token uh, so that everyone knows who you are. It costs two action points to try to wound a king, and it costs an action point to kill a soldier. And if you want to kill two soldiers in the same turn, it costs two for the second one. And while the king, you can see the actions of him and his guards. So that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Now, 
you're playing on this side of the board, you can play on the other side of the board where the, the castle is uh, right there and everyone is set up like normal, but there's two spots the king can start on, and he doesn't have to show which spot he's starting on until the assassin has picked his three characters. Otherwise, it's played pretty much the same way. When I first heard about this game, I, I kind of was expecting like this big, overly produced type game, and it's actually quite small, quite simple. I could probably teach it in five minutes. Yep, there, easily. There's, there's really not a lot to it. Although, I'm actually not sure how long my thing was. Maybe I didn't teach it in five minutes. <laughs> don't have to. You could if you needed to. Um, it's it's an asymmetrical uh, game in which I mean the both sides have very different goals, which I like. I you know I I don't mind playing your typical abstract strategy game where you're both the same, but it's cool when one person's doing something different. Right. I, I think this game is all about bluffing. It really is. As the peasant player is moving closer to the king, and the king has to pretty much figure out. Which of these guys is is the assassin? Or girls? Or girls? Well, it wasn't that right? The, the, that one game, it was all girls. I I I thought Pleasant Helga was a nice person. She wasn't. She didn't even look help. She didn't even look pleasant. <laughs> Helga was like the least pleasant looking of my <laughs> sisters of battle. Well, yeah, but she didn't look like an assassin. That's but, true. But then she put on those cloaks and oh, jumped around. She looked like she was baking a pie. She did. So while I say it's mostly bluffing, there's also some aspect of movement and tactical movement because you kind of have to, the king has to move his guards to the right spot. You can cover the king fairly well, but you can't cover him perfectly. Nope. So you have to do your best to cover him as best as you can, and those peasants are just popping in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, playing the assassins is, is much like playing a lot of smoke and mirrors. You want to move people that are not the assassin and you want to move them frequently enough to where the king player thinks that they're, that they're the assassin but at the same time you have to move your assassins around and position them in such a way to where they can strike at the best uh, most opportune time so uh, there's a, it, it's kind of thinky but it's not too thinky and that's one of the shining points of the game I think you do have to use your brain you do have to engage your opponent with your mind but uh, the the theme helps take away some of that ab abstractedness, and, right. and uh, the theme actually works very well with the mechanics here. Yeah, it has a little bit of what I call the Vizzini effect, because you know that the guy running towards you is an assassin. Mm -hmm. But I know that you know that, so he's not an assassin. Mm -hmm. But you know that I know that you know that, so he actually is an assassin, and I'm pretending that he's not an assassin who isn't. You know, it, it has that. It actually comes with a vial of Iocane powder. <laughs> well, but, so it's, it's, it's a short game. Yes. Uh, I'd say 15, 20 minutes. It's really right. not long. Um, there's really not a ton of different things that the king is going to do. It's how you work your guards. Yeah. And for the peasants, the fact that you can pick three different ones each time, you, you can pick them in different corners, you can try all different things. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think the game's going to be playable maybe a hundred times, but I think there's a lot of play in it. I think there's a lot of game in here, really. As a filler game, and I think that's what this would fall under, yeah. a filler, um, or maybe a game that you can play once, maybe twice, while another game is going on, uh, and, and that'll kind of help time pass by. Uh, I think this is this has a lot of replayability to it in its uh, own right. Okay, um, it's not one of those ones where you're going to come away saying, "Wow, I can't believe the the complexity and, and all of this kind of stuff." This is not going to happen. It's a very simple game, uh, but it's a very fun game, and that's one of the things we like to hit on the most. So anyway, I really enjoy it. I'm going to give it two cross daggers up. Uh, it's it's fantastic. It's good. It, it's certainly an underrated game. I haven't heard many people talking about it, but you, you should certainly check it out. King and Assassins. And I'm going to give King and Assassins two piked knights up. We've killed them in our <laughs> path to glory, and we've set them up at the, at the town gates. Uh, yeah. That's no way to treat the good king. No, we're... Uh, 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 shut up. <laughs> All right, anyhow, that's King and Assassins. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com.
You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.